Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Saifu Shahmi bin Alias I am from 3BMMH 1 stroke 2 So today our group will present about the electrical and control system for HVAC assignment So the topic is impact of electrical and control system for HVAC in thermal comfort, air quality and energy consumption so we choose reverse cycle air conditioner for introduction HVAC control system consists of devices that control the operations of heating, ventilation and air conditioning equipment while HVAC electrical system is the system that run all the HVAC appliances that using the electric power source handler so in this assignment our team were given a task to discuss about the impact of electrical and control system for HVAC in thermal comfort, air quality and energy consumption. So for this task, we choose the reverse cycle air conditioner as the HVAC electrical device. Hi, Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Zahim Sukairi. I am a student of University Technical Melaka. So today I will discuss about reverse cycle air conditioner. Reverse cycle air conditioner is not commonly used in Malaysia However, it is used worldwide in overseas Reverse cycle air conditioner is referred to an air conditioner that can do both heating and cooling functions Reverse cycle is an air conditioner in which the refrigeration cycle can be reversed producing heating instead of cooling Next is I will discuss about the impact of reverse cycle air conditioner towards thermal comfort. When the reverse cycle unit is in cooling mode, it works like a normal air conditioner. However, when you reverse cycle air conditioner is switched to heating mode, the indoor evaporator coil switches role and becomes the condenser coil, thus producing heat. Next, the outdoor condenser unit also switches roles to serve as the evaporator and discharge cold air. Reverse cycle air conditioner have a various settings such as thermostat that can allow you to set the desired room temperature. The thermostat then measures the indoor temperature and adjusts the air conditioner output accordingly. Next is auto mode. The auto mode as the name suggests automatically chooses the right mode required to keep the room at the temperature you choose. Next is cool mode. Cool mode is uh, which is the air conditioner pumps heat from the inside to the outside. And last but not least is heat. The heat is uh, the air conditioner pumps heat from the inside from the outside to inside. Uh, I will conclude that uh, the reverse air conditioner is uh, very useful in term of thermal comfort. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Muhammad Nazrin bin Muhammad Nazri from 3EB MMH S12. I want to explain about the impact of, of HV electrical items towards air quality. Before I explain about the impact, I want to explain about what affects indoor air quality IAQ IAQ is affected by a variety of factors such as poor ventilation, temperature, humidity, mold and indoor pollutants indoor pollutants at home can include dust especially during renovation work cooking and cleaning products including air freshness contaminants inside schools, offices and other workplaces can include dust and chemicals from construction or, or renovation work cleaning products more and redden gas that harmful for our lung okay the impact of HVAC electrical items towards air quality personally is it can maintain humidity by humidifying or dehumidifying like uh, our uh, split split unit system that, our, that we choose is reversing valve it can it can change in two modes cooling or heating it can humidify or dehumidifying the air it can provide constant and adequate ventilation. It can cleanse the air by removing allergens, pollutants, or any contaminants in in our house. And lastly, it 
maintains a desired temperature by heating or cooling the air. Hello, my name is Jason Lime and I'm going to present on the impact of electrical and control system for hashback in energy consumption. By monitoring and controlling the co energy consumption through control system, such as building management system, or in short, BMS, also known as building automation system, BAS, can help to increase the hashback system efficiency and save costs. With the existence of control systems such as this, a lower operating cost can be achieved. <coughs> Taking a situation as an example is when an occupant wants a constant temperature of 24 degrees Celsius inside a room. With a control system, the compressor power supply can be lowered when the desired temperature has been achieved and thus lowering the energy consumption. Some example of home appliances that consume more energy than air conditioner are oven, iron for clothing, and electric radiant heater which can be compared to a reverse cycle air conditioner where the air conditioner is more efficient compared to an electric radiant heater in terms in term of energy consumption. Hi, my name is Safi Hamizan Ben Sharudin. Uh, so, in conclusion, we can conclude that uh, hashback control system are very important towards uh, hashback equipment because by controlling the device automatically, we can save energy consumption, mainly electricity. Uh, after that, after that, we be able to apply all the criteria that later stated into our electrical electrical item, which is uh, a reverse cycle air conditioner. And last, lastly, we be able to demonstrate an understanding of the impact of the engineering practice towards thermal comfort, air qualities, uh, air quality, and effectiveness of energy consumption.